So the Fonzie Fitness Challenge. This has grown a pair of legs and has kind of run past any point where I really thought possible. I just wanted to get it out there as a quick idea. Hopefully motivate or inspire a couple of people who are waiting to make some changes or waiting for a reason to make some changes in their life. And it's gotten to the point where it's really become something and that is very, very exciting. As of right now, we've got about 150 people that have applied to be part of the contest and we've got about 25 people who have fulfilled all the criteria needed and who are actual finalists and contestants. So if you apply, you just send an email to fonzievideos at gmail.com and say, I want to be in the contest. In order to be a contestant, you have to send in some information and a couple of pictures. Super simple. So we've got 25 contestants as of right now and we've got a full week almost left for people to become contestants. Real quick note, not only is it awesome to see the people actually applying and be becoming part of the contest, it is so awesome to see some of these messages and letters and emails that are coming in from some of these people, heartfelt, genuine stories about how they are not happy with where they are and they really want to make some changes. I mean, reading through those has been so exciting and motivating for me personally. So the entire contest just got a shot in the ass because now it's going to be uh, partnered with or working with tigerfitness.com. Tigerfitness.com is a website I've personally been a customer of for a long time. So I reached out to the guy who runs the website, uh, Mark Lobliner. He's got his own channel. I've been watching him on YouTube for a long time. And they are all in. They want to support the contest, which means two things. One, anybody who is an actual contestant in the Fonzie Fitness Challenge, not that you sent an email to apply, but anyone who's actually a contestant is going to be able to get 15% off anything on the tigerfitness.com website. And they have a ton of shit on there. Anything from health food to supplies to different supplements, anything that you may use or need to assist you in reaching your goals for the challenge. This is going to be huge. Not only is it going to help you guys save money, but the the coupon or the savings may incentivize people to even try a little bit harder or take it a little bit further than they normally would. Not only that, they have an endless archive or library of health related, fitness related and nutrition related articles in their database that they're going to allow me to get into, identify certain articles that I think will be relevant to the people in the contest and then I'll be shooting those out in an email once, maybe twice a week to give people more education and motivation. It's one thing as a newbie to say, I want to get in the gym or I want to identify uh, some changes in my nutrition or my diet and try to implement them. But it's really helpful to get some help. You may not know where to look. You may not be willing to put in the time to look. So I'm going to send you some information, keep you motivated and always remind you, hey, you committed to make some changes here and I'm going to remind you not to back out. I'm going to give you the tools that you may need in order to succeed. And now it's 100% your fault if you fall through. In the shop right now, getting ready to film um, a couple of things. I was talking to Gabe about the Fonzie Fitness Challenge and he said that he was thinking about joining. And when I asked him what was his excuse for not joining, he said he doesn't have an excuse. So, are you joining the fitness challenge? Uh, putting me on the spot. Sure, I'll join the fitness challenge. All right, you heard it first. Gabe is officially joining the Fonzie Fitness Challenge, and we will keep you guys up to date on his progress as we go. If you're friends with Gabe on Facebook, make sure you hold him accountable. Right now, Brad is committing to do the fitness challenge. You're in it to win it. In it to win it. What are your goals? To beat it, I'm not worried about the money, but I, my goal no, is to No, you can't win the money first. anyway. Yeah. My goal is to come, right, my goal is to come in first. Okay, you're in it, but what are your what is your goal? What is your fitness goal? Do you want fitness to lose goal? a certain amount of weight? Oh yeah, yeah, I want to lose some weight okay. and maybe put some muscle across but the chest. But what is, get, let's get a goal, let's get a number. Oh man, I'd like to make it down to 250. What do you weigh now? <sighs> Probably a hair over 300. All right, so you want to lose, you want to put like 30 pounds out there? Let's make it 50. Shoot for the, shoot well, let's for the make stars. something. Okay, so let's go 35. All right. So your goal is to lose 35 pounds in two months. All right. Everyone's heard it first. NBC News.
dude. Taking a look at some videos that my buddy Jeremy is posting from Houston after that Hurricane Harvey came in. That is no joke, man. I mean, I, I don't watch the news. I don't really pay much attention to current events, politics, things like that. So I wasn't really aware of, of where everything was on that. And um, yeah, so his entire house, his entire garage, his entire neighborhood is under like six, seven feet of water. It's like real deal, no joke. I'd hate to use the word destruction, but destruction. I mean, he was even saying he's filming. He's like, you have no idea how weird it is to look outside of your bedroom window and see water like a lake when normally it's, it's a yard. I think everybody out there just gets too comfortable thinking and I'm not talking for him, I'm talking for myself. Just thinking that, yes, disasters happen. Yes, big problems happen. Horrible things happen. But until they happen to you or somebody that you're directly connected with, you have that, that vibe of, it ain't going to happen to me. It could happen. It happens to people, but it's not going to happen to me. And especially when you have kids and, and you have people that are going through it in your life, you look at it and it's it's fucked up, man. It really is. It really is. I mean, I sent him a text to see if he needs to, you know, some money or something. But how is that even going to help? I mean, he had to get find a guy with a boat just to bring him water. You can't just drive up. I mean, I don't know, man. I got to stay in touch with him as this kind of goes on and, and see if there's any way that, that I can help or the community can help. It's not just him. It's, it's everybody in the area. But... Listen, if you're going to do one thing today, if you're going to just have one solid thought pattern today, be appreciative of your life right now. If you're okay and everything around you is okay, take a second and appreciate that because it may not be like that forever. 